Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. Here's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to compare this Jet JS300 and I'm going to compare it to the classic Vibe Squire 50s Strat. I'd say they're both more or less 50s styled Strats and I think it'll be a great comparison. These are both sort of heralded as great value guitars across the internet. So I want to do a direct side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, we'll start with a visual inspection as usual and then I'll plug them into the amp. So let's get started. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna start at the headstock and we see the Jet is a different shape headstock than a Fender. It has a bit of a banana action going on there. Certainly not bad, uh, but not, not stunning in my opinion. It has a nice logo, uh, but it, not enough contrast. It just kind of looks like it needs a black outline to uh, make it look a little better. Let's check out the Squire. Okay, so here's the Squire. And we see, of course, it is the nice Fender shape. And the logo is a spaghetti-style Squire logo. Certainly resembles an old Fender much more than the Jet. And it says Stratocaster. So that's a definite point for the Squire. Let's check out the back. And we see they're using Klusen Deluxe tuners. Those look great and they work great. Certainly my favorite style tuner. Let's check out the Jet. Okay, here's the Jet. And we see they're using Jet branded sealed tuners. I do like the buttons on these tuners, but I have to say overall, I prefer the tuners on the classic vibe. Now this is a roasted maple neck. And I'm sure some would consider that an upgrade over the classic vibe. Although I prefer the finish on the classic vibe. This is a satin finish, a personal preference, but for me, the classic vibe wins as far as neck feel. This one certainly feels high quality, but I love the classic vibe high gloss. Let's check it out. Okay. So there is the classic vibe and we see a nice dark skunk stripe. And it just has that glassy feel we've come to expect on a classic vibe. Now these are both, I would say, just feels like a medium C carve to me. Let's take a look at the fret ends. And we see on the classic vibe, they're done really well. I'll pop a photo up here. Let's check out the jet. Okay, there's the jet. And we see the frets are finished just as well. We'll put a photo up. And the feel is, again, it's different, but I wouldn't say it's better or worse. It's hard to give a point. If you prefer satin necks, you're gonna love this one. Uh, if you like gloss, I think the uh, classic vibe is a sure winner. Okay, let's move on up the neck and we see the heel and the pocket fit looks great on the jet. Not any gapping, but not so tight as to cause finish crack there. Let's check out the Squire. Okay, there's the Squire and it looks just as good. I'd say they're equal. They both fit in the pocket perfectly and no little finish cracks. So that's great. Now there's not a lot to look at on a Strat, of course. Uh, we all know what they look like, but this being the 50s version, it has the six screw uh, vintage bridge. It is stamped Fender Saddles. Let's check out the Jet. Okay, so here is the Jet bridge, and we see it does not have stamped saddles, uh, but it looks good. It is a vintage style as well with the six screws. This one does have a friction fit whammy bar, which is a nice touch. Overall, I'd say the quality is about equal to the classic vibe. Now we'll take a look at the pickups just visually for now. We'll give them a listen in a minute, but they look a little on the cheap side. Not sure why. It's hard to pinpoint exactly why that would be, but they do. Let's check out the classic vibe. And there's the pickups on the classic vibe. Now these look a little more traditional to me, and I would say they look better quality. There's more of an exaggerated um, staggered height to the poles, 
and they are nice flat topped pole pieces. We see here it has a five-way switch and it feels pretty good. Let's check out the jet. Okay, there's the jet. We see it also has a five-way switch and it feels about the same. So no points there. May as well look at these knobs. Now this is one uh, downgrade, I would say, on this guitar. Just looks cheesy. The type is kind of bleeding into the plastic. They definitely look El Cheapo. Let's check out the Squire. And there's the Squire. Now we see these knobs look a lot better. These look as good a quality as I would see on a Fender USA. And just seeing them side by side, it's, it's undeniable. These are way better. Nicer looking, that is. I mean, they both function, but... And the, the pots feel about the same. Now the jack plate, of course, standard issue, looks pretty good. Would be better in nickel, but looks good. Let's check out the jet. And there's the jet, and I would say it looks about the same. Neither of them look fantastic, nor do they look bad. Just a straight up jack. Okay, we'll take a look at the back. Here is the jet. It has a three ply uh, back plate, looks good, and a full size trim block in there. It has a body contour we'd expect on a Strat, of course. And on the jet, it has its own additional little contour in the cutaway. I'm not sure I love this, uh, but it doesn't hurt anything. It looks pretty good. And it's a four bolt neck plate that says jet. Let's check out the Squire. Okay, there is the Squire. Same shape, same contour there. It does not have an additional contour here, of course. And it is the Squire four bolt neck plate. I noticed the uh, classic vibe has a single ply back plate. And I can't tell the size of the trim block. It looks to be maybe a medium size, so not a full size, I would think. So there we go, both very comparable guitars. Uh, I would have to say the classic vibe uh, takes a slight edge, in my opinion, because I'm a sucker for the headstock. And I love the glassy feel of the neck. That being said, uh, technically the Jet has some bonuses. I mean, a roasted maple neck and the uh, it has rolled edges on the fingerboard, a full-size trem block. It's got a lot going for it. Let's plug them into the amp, see how they sound. Thanks for watching. Cheers.